Paris has historically been the vortex for philosophical thought, dissent, and writings, no matter how unpopular. The Manifesto of the Communist Party was a collaboration between Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, published in 1848. The work identified the party leadership as the guiding force and educating body of the working class, termed the proletariat. Numerous sources have acknowledged Marx and Engels' initial meeting at the Café de la Régence during August 1844. The popular café no longer exists, but was located in the vicinity of where Joan of Arc and her armies attempted to breach the fortified walls of Paris in September 1429. Ingalls lived near Manchester, England until 1844, espousing radical politics in his writings. His primary visits to Paris involved sessions with Marx while traveling to Germany. They forged a close friendship, and Marx assimilated Engels' view on the working class into his own evolving philosophy. Marx's writings in a German journal put him at odds with the Prussian king. This resulted in him becoming exiled from Paris in 1845 and relocated to Brussels. He would periodically return to Paris under assumed names and stay with his eldest daughter. Vladimir Lenin and Leon Trotsky would crystallize the communist philosophy into the Bolshevik party of the Soviet Union. Lenin arrived in Paris originally in 1908 following his initial attempt at revolution against the Tsar that had failed three years earlier. He initially lived in the Pantheon district but inhabited several locations throughout the city with his wife, mother-in-law, and sister. Lenin enjoyed repose, cultivated Russian friendships, and devoted hours of study at the National Library. Lenin would return to his beloved Russia following the 1917 February Revolution that ousted the Tsar. The October Revolution ascended the Bolsheviks to power. Communism would evolve into one of the greatest experimental travesties in Western culture during the 20th century. Lenin, Trotsky, and French poet Guillaume Apollinaire reportedly were avid chess players together at the La Closerie de Lilas on Montparnasse Boulevard. The club no longer exists. The French police would escort and deport Trotsky to the Spanish border on March 31, 1916. Joseph Stalin would have him assassinated in 1940 in Mexico City. Apollinaire would die from a combination of World War I injuries and the Spanish influenza. Another major communist player who lived in Paris was Ho Chi Minh, who had become a reviled Western villain while governing the communist regime in North Vietnam. He worked in Paris at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel restaurant during 1919, barely scraping by. <laughs>